now moving to the next drug not the drug it is a complete topic the topic is called psoriasis so we all know psoriasis is an autoimmune skin condition now what happens in psoriasis we will try to understand that first and then we can discuss how we can form new drugs for that now what happens in psoriasis due to unknown stimulus we do not know what is the reason there is activation of dermal dendritic cells unknown stimulus activate the dendritic cells of the skin and when these are activated activated they will activate the t cells to secrete interleukins and the t cells start secreting two important interleukins one is interleukin 12 second is interleukin 23 the function of these interleukins is to help in growth of helper T cells. So, helper T cells like TL17, TH22 and TH1, they will be formed. Now, they will further secrete some interleukins that will lead to problem which is seen in psoriasis. That means growth or overgrowth of keratinocytes. The interleukins which are responsible primarily are tumor necrosis factor alpha. TNF alpha, we have interleukin 22 and interleukin 17. So, that is the basic problem. The problem is unknown stimulus activate the dendritic cells and these cells will activate the T cells to secrete interleukins 20 to, uh, 12 and 23 and these interleukins, they will activate the T cells further helper T cells. They secrete TNF alpha and interleukin 17 like interleukins that cause growth of creatinocytes which cause all the problems. So, we have developed monoclonal antibodies against these interleukins. So, those monoclonal antibodies can be used to treat psoriasis. Okay. Now, already we have a drug approved around 2-3 years back. It is called Ustekinumab. Ustekinumab is a monoclonal antibody against interleukin 12 as well as 23. Remember, interleukin 12 and 23 both has one common common arm, it is a monoclonal antibody against both of them, Ustekinumab. Then we developed monoclonal antibodies against TNF-alpha. These are infliximab, adalimumab, etanercept, etc. So, these are monoclonal antibodies against TNF-alpha and they can also be used in psoriasis. Now, the major problem with TNF-alpha antagonist is they increase the risk of infections. TNF-alpha monoclonal antibodies increases the risk of infections particularly tuberculosis and hepatitis b so we cannot use these drugs even if a person is having subclinical tuberculosis so then we developed the drugs which are against interleukin 12 or 23 ustekinumab so these monoclonal antibodies they do not increase the risk of infection so that is the advantage of these drugs they do not increase the risk of infections now recently we have developed the monoclonal antibodies against interleukin 23 one drug is tildrakizumab which has been approved in 2018 and another drug guselcumab has been approved in 2017 so both of these are monoclonal antibodies against interleukin 23 Again, they are used in psoriasis. Then lastly, we have developed monoclonal antibodies against interleukin 17. Out of these, sacukinumab and ixekixumab, these are the monoclonal antibodies against interleukin 17. Whereas, brodalumab, it is a monoclonal antibody against interleukin 17 receptors. Final effect will be same that keratinocytes will not be able to grow. So, all of these are also approved in psoriasis. But the problem with interleukin 17 antagonists are all of these three drugs, sacukinumab, ixekixumab, and brodalumab, they can exacerbate the inflammatory bowel disease. And brodalumab, in addition, it increases the risk of suicides. Suicide ideations have been found more in patients taking brodalumab. Okay. So, all, among all this, I want yeah, you should remember that psoriasis is mediated by some interleukins. You need to remember the name of them. These are interleukin 12, interleukin 23, uh, interleukin 17 and TNF alpha. These are the main four substances. So, monoclonal antibodies against these can be used for psoriasis. In particular, if you want to remember, you must remember this drug Tildrakizumab for AIMS exams.
till dracuzumab has been recently approved so it may come in the exam other drugs you may skip but till dracuzumab you should remember so that is monoclonal antibodies for psoriasis